This episode is brought to you by JLL. Get an insider view into the world of commercial real estate with JLL's podcast, Trends and Insights, the Future of Commercial Real Estate. Whether you're curious about making cities more sustainable, the evolution of office space, or AI opportunities, this podcast will help keep you a step ahead. Tune in for candid conversations with business leaders about the biggest trends impacting how we live, work, and play. Subscribe to Trends and Insights now at jll.com slash podcast. Dreaming of a better sleep? Tossing and turning is not your destiny. And Ollie is here to help. Ollie invites you to sink into sweet, sweet slumber to improve your mental and physical health and overall wellness. More than just melatonin, Ollie's ingredients help you unwind your mind for a delightfully dreamy drift off. Sleep is on the way at Ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1262, Five Proven Tips That Will Improve Your Productivity, by Alex Sabaliba with digtofly.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host and narrator here on OWD, the show that is all about improving your work and productivity. And today, productivity is exactly what Alex is gonna be talking about, so let's get right to it now as we optimize your life. Five Proven Tips That Will Improve Your Productivity by Alex Sebaliba with digtofly.com. I had just poured myself my third cup of coffee and I realized something very important. I remember because as I put the coffee to my lips, I looked up at the clock. It was 11 a.m. on the dot. I had accomplished nothing at all. I rebooted my computer. I visited with a few friends. I went to a meeting that was canceled at the last minute. Literally nothing was accomplished in two and a half hours. Have you ever had a morning like this? Working in a shared or open environment is a challenge. It's easy to get distracted or distract a friend. After years of procrastination and lack of concentration, I finally took it upon myself to do something about this. I set out on a mission to enhance my mental state so that I could improve my focus, productivity, and just feel a lot happier at work. I've been working on improving my own concentration for nearly a decade. I never look at the clock and think I haven't accomplished anything yet today. I've made big strides in my productivity, and here is how I did it. 1. Buy into brain food and drink. Avoid the cereal bars and mid-morning chocolate. Foods that are rich in zinc, such as pumpkin seeds, can help fight brain decline and improve thinking skills, so go for them instead. Pumpkin seeds are a convenient office snack too. I normally pack a small Tupperware pot of mixed seeds, which I can sprinkle over my morning yogurt or simply snack on while checking emails first thing. You might also want to consider bringing in fresh blueberries. Blueberries are packed with vitamin C and E, and the flavonoids in these berries activate an enzyme that improves the flow of blood to the brain. In one office I worked at, fresh fruit was delivered on Fridays for staff to snack on, all for free. Who doesn't like free snacks? Definitely an incentive to eat healthier. Other brain-friendly foods include omega-3 rich walnuts and oily fish. Omega-3 has been shown to boost your mood, prevent cognitive decline, and there's proof that it can even enhance your memory. Walnuts might be the preferred choice for the office, unless you want to alienate colleagues. Fill up on plenty of water as well. My office has a huge water cooler, which I'm lucky enough to be positioned right next to. Not only is dehydration the number one cause of headaches, fresh water has also been proven to help your brain work faster. 2. Sit properly. Invest in a decent chair and practice good posture throughout your day. Bad posture is not only distracting, as it can cause brain fogginess and pain, but it is also dangerous. The long-term implications of not choosing to invest in a suitable office chair or take part in any exercise can mean that you might not even be able to work, let alone have problems concentrating in the working environment. Get up and talk to your colleagues as well. Not only is it better for maintaining professional relationships at work, it gives your back a break from the chair. Three, tune into the right music. Are you allowed to play music in your office? My office prohibits music, but you can listen to headphones, and thank goodness. Certain types of music can help aid concentration. Forget your favorite playlist on Spotify and use a recommended service such as Focus at Will, which lets you tune into music specifically selected to help you focus on the task at hand. Choose from channels such as Focus Spa or Uptempo and engage in scientifically proven music to tune into your brain's limbic system. This is the part of your brain that regulates the easily distracted fight or flight mode. 
I now work in an energetic environment. People are always moving and talking to each other, and this is great, but only when you're in that kind of mood too. So what about when you just want to zone out and actually get something done? Yeah, well, head to the headphones. And don't feel like you're missing out. You've got work to accomplish. Four, ban digital time suckers. Facebook is my nemesis. I love it and hate it all at the same time. Time suckers, in my opinion, are any apps, websites, or media devices that crave your attention. It's difficult to switch off from notifications on your mobile or constantly checking your email account, but in order to do your best work, you need to be able to escape from these time consumers. And five, work in chunks. This is my favorite tip, working in chunks and taking breaks. This method of chunking, the Pomodoro technique, has been around since the 1980s. It works by breaking your time into manageable 25-minute chunks. Each chunk is called a Pomodoro, Italian for tomato. After each Pomodoro, you take a five-minute break. After four Pomodoros, you can take a longer break, typically around 20 minutes. So I normally check my emails, take a break, work on my biggest project for two Pomodoros, then move on to something a little lighter. After that, I take a longer break before hitting my biggest project again. You get to keep motivated and boost your concentration, and you get a great excuse to buy a 1980s tomato timer. I've been working on improving my concentration in the work environment for almost seven years. And at last, I feel like I'm finally nailing it. But there has been a lot of trial and error along the way. Remember, eat right, drink lots of water, sit properly. Don't be afraid to zone out, but not on social media, and reward yourself with breaks. After all, no employer wants a distracted employee or contractor. You just listened to the post titled Five Proven Tips That Will Improve Your Productivity by Alex Sebaliba with digtofly.com. We're driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search, but match. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences. So the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. So just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. You don't need me to tell you that something always comes up when you're running a small business. Take the pain out of payroll benefits and HR and put the joy back in running your business with Gusto. Gusto's payroll and HR services can make it a little easier. Gusto was designed for you, the small business owner. They take the pain out of running a business. Automatically calculating paychecks, filing payroll taxes, setting up open enrollment. Gusto does it all. Want more? Time tracking, health insurance, 401k, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. Well, you get the idea. With Gusto, you can focus on the joy of running your business. It's super easy to set up and get started. And if you're moving from another provider, Gusto can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise, 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto, 94. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com slash OWD. Again, that's gusto.com slash OWD. And I'm telling you, you're going to love Gusto. Get started today. And a big thank you to Alex for this article. He actually wrote this one as a guest writer for digtofly.com, which is owned and operated by Carl Stabe. Carl helps entrepreneurs understand their struggles and turn them into stepping stones. And he knows something about that from his own personal experience because in 2010, Carl was diagnosed with testicular cancer and then was laid off from his job a year later. And while those were difficult situations, he calls them blessings in disguise because since then, he has stopped doing work that doesn't fit with his passions and instead now focuses on things he truly cares about. He's the author of the book, Bring Gratitude, and has a lot to offer on his site. So come by digtofly.com to learn more, and I do have that linked in this episode's description for you. 
And by the way, dig to fly means dig deep to fly high. Carl also has a podcast of his own. You can find the Dig to Fly podcast wherever you get your audio. And that's going to wrap up another episode of Optimal Work Daily. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be back with me tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.